lot of my topics get inspired by Twitter, as you know. Okay. I'm a big tweeter. Really? <laughs> I'm a big <laughs> no tweeter. No way. <laughs> Which, go follow me on Twitter, pearly things with a Z. Um, so there was a woman that decided to tweet her dating history. <sighs> I know. I know. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. So she says her dating history, a surgeon, a doctor, a politician, finance, 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 6'4", engineer, business founder, finance, doctor, engineer, company founder, artist, CEO, surgeon, not, not sure, never said, 6'4", go to the next one. I think it keeps going. There's more? I think it keeps going. Okay. Finance, corporate lawyer, doctor, business founder, politician, model, finance, investment baker, surgeon, university professor, data analyst, 6'5", pilot, pilot. She's been with, oh my gosh. Oh, God, it keeps going? <laughs> I thought we were done. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Investment banker, bioengineer, ran a startup, professor, surgeon, finance, corporate lawyer, politician, NGO, researcher, aristocrat, engineer, politician, investment banker. Wow. Okay. I counted you count? like 48, I think. 48? Was it that many? I think so. I I might have not so, counted wrong. I think there's a couple things that I find interesting. One, obviously the number is crazy. Yeah. Two, you know, there used to be a sense of shame mm -hmm. about these types of things. You know, I actually know someone in London, I could tell you after, where this guy actually married an ex-stripper and he was a famous guy. Okay. And he didn't know that she was a stripper before. Oh, gosh. Now, I'm not justifying this, mm. but women used to have like a sense of shame. Yeah. They at least knew like, this is right. This is wrong. It's probably wrong to date 48 men. Yeah. That's probably, that's a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and now we're at a point where they're, they're bragging about it. Yeah. I just, I don't understand the mindset. Also, what just irks me is I really hate people who air out their dirty laundry. So like she's doing it as as you say as a way to brag, but I don't see it like that. I see it as you're airing out your dirty laundry because you're just showing like how many people have said no to you. It's like you think that this is making you look really good, but actually that's just showing that with 48 encounters, you've still not managed to find success with someone. Yeah, and it's also like they're, they're dating down. That's what's mm -hmm. happened. I don't know what she looks like, but I'm just assuming she's a normal looking chick. Mm -hmm. And you're talking to and it, it almost ruins the women for their husbands. Yeah. Because, yeah. because how are how is any guy going to measure up to the surgeon? And what was her reason for posting this? Does she say like why? Wait, she's go back posting? to the go back to the first one, King. Yeah. Oh, just dating history. Yeah. Wow. Finance CEO. Yeah, she's really cheating herself here because you know how many men are over six foot? That's a small percentage in itself. How many men are going to be surgeons, doctors, politicians, like? These are very, you know, not everyone can have these jobs. And in fact, the majority of people aren't going to be in these type of jobs. So she's actually slimming down her chances. One, by showing the world that 48 times she still can't find success. Two, by airing out her dirty laundry. That's that's unattractive. No one's going to want that in a partner. And three, how many people, like you say, are going to be able to live up to that? Well, and it's really competitive, too. It's interesting it to see The Bachelor. Have you ever watched The Bachelor? Um, you, you don't have that here in the U.S.? Like, um, okay, uh, The Bachelorette, have you heard of it? I think it's, I think I know what it is. Is it kind of like, like Geordie Shaw type, type okay, of thing? Okay, okay. Basically, they have a guy or a girl, and then a bunch of men and a bunch of women come to compete to, like, marry them, usually at the oh, end. okay, yeah, we use those kind of shows. Yeah, usually at the end, someone proposes. So, okay. um, I remember there was a, I think his name was Matt and Rachel. Um, so there was a season where there was a guy named Matt and he was like a six, four investment banker, Jack. And it's interesting because you actually see the real competition for these men, right? Because you, you literally see all the women that are applying to be these guys, girlfriend, right? And you see like 50 women that come to these things that are beautiful. They're fit, feminine, friendly. I mean, obviously, they throw a couple crazy chicks yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, for of good course. yeah, yeah, obviously. But you see in real time how competitive it is. Yeah. And to end up with one of the guys that she's talking about, like, you have to compete. Yeah, 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 yeah. And women today don't see it as a competition. No, because they think they're the prize. Exactly. And so it, it's kind of like she had 48 job interviews. And, and hasn't managed to keep one. 
Exactly. Yeah. And maybe it's like maybe you That's have a high, maybe maybe you have a high school diploma <laughs> and you're applying for like a jobs that you need a like professor a position degree. or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's look at the tweets replying to this. This is a list of the men she effed. Somebody mm. tell her that dating is something else. I'm going to the next that's, one. That's a good point. It's very instinctual how women always refer to the men they've dated by their job title. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That is very telling. That's a really good insight. It's almost like she refers to the guys based on what she valued about them. And what they bring for her. What's yeah, to her. because the other ones, she said job titles, but the tall guys, she just said 6'4". True. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> 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 she has a list of professions and then just 6'5 for one of these guys. What a blessing to a guy to be born tall. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Is that Nina? <laughs> <laughs> And and the thing is, you know, she can attract this level of guy in her 20s, but yeah. what, are, what are her 30s going to be like? Exactly. And then this is why the men get so frustrated dating women in their 30s. Mm -hmm. You know, I've actually talked to guys where they, they say, you know, I don't even, it's not about looks. Right. It's not even a looks thing why we don't date women in their 30s. Now that's cap a little bit, a little obviously. Bit. But, but you can get some somewhat attractive. But what they say is by the time they're in their 30s, their standards have gotten so high. That's it. Most women are in debt. Mm -hmm. Most of them haven't been doing anything in their... They're stuck in their ways. Yes. Yeah. And so they meet the girl in their 30s. You have to get on her program. Mm -hmm. And she has this high list of demands mm -hmm. because of all of these men she's dated in her 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 